Hey, what's going on folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Today I'm going to show you how to find a leak on your AC system using an ultraviolet light. Now to my knowledge, most modern vehicles have dye already inside the AC system. So this should work for most of your vehicles on the road today. However, there may be a few manufacturers out there that don't provide oil dye inside the AC system from the get-go. So in those cases, you'll have to use some other method to detect your leak on your AC system. Now the dye light that I'm using is a true UV light. That's actually ultraviolet light coming out the end there. Now, in my opinion, a true UV light works the best for detecting leaks on your AC system. Now there are a lot of manufacturers out there that have different kinds of dye lights that work pretty well also. Like I said, this is my personal opinion that a true UV light works best for this situation. Now I just evacuated this AC system earlier today, so there is some oil dye right around the service port right here. I'm going to turn the lights off and shine my UV light on it so that you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. This isn't going to look like it is in real life because of course I'm using a camera here and also uh, you don't have the benefit of wearing these. These are special glasses that uh, helps to amplify the color of the, the green dye inside the refrigerant. So let's go ahead and turn these lights off and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's that service port. My light on it. I'm not sure how well you can see that. This is kind of like a joker kind of green, if you will. It's, it's very bright, very fluorescent, and very, very noticeable. So that's what it's gonna look like. If you have a leak somewhere and your frown's leaking out, the frown's gonna carry that oil dye out with it. And this will stain the outside surface of whatever component is leaking and then you can find your leak that way. So let's go ahead and put those glasses on the lens of the camera here. I do think that's going to make a difference for you. Uh, that's more like what you're going to see, uh, that joker green right there. So this vehicle does have a leak on it. The AC compressor is leaking on this and I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. So just real quick here, Freon can leak out of any component on your AC system that holds Freon. Uh, this includes your condenser, your compressor, the lines going between them, the lines going between your condenser and compressor and the uh, evaporator core, also your accumulator or your receiver dryer can leak. So anything that has Freon running through it has the potential of leaking Freon. So what you're going to do with your dye light is you're just going to trace all of those components. For instance, your, your lines over here, just run the dye light along those lines and look for the presence of that uh, that green oil that we were looking for earlier and wherever you find that stain at then that component is leaking and that component needs to be serviced in some way or replaced now another place that you can find a refrigerant leak is the evaporator core now the evaporator core is not that easy to uh, uh, find a leak in uh, but you see that drain port down there I'm not sure if you can see that or not. It's way down there. It's coming out of the bottom of the firewall. A lot of times if your evaporator core is leaking, that dye leaks out, it'll come out in that water and there'll be a faint trace of green inside that tube there where the water comes out, where the condensation comes out of the evaporator core. So inspect that also. And sometimes using a sniffer is essential for detecting a leak inside the evaporator core. So just keep that in mind too. So it's real simple. So let me show you that compressor and where it's leaking at. And I'm going to turn the lights off so you can see it real well, okay? okay? So I got my flashlight on and you can see the front of the compressor right there. And it's pretty obvious just by looking at it. It's really, really, really damp with oil. Uh, but that's where we're looking. I'm going to turn the lights off, put my UV light on it, and you can see how it glows. All right, let's put that light on it. And we got joker green everywhere. And you can see where it kind of slung that refrigerant oil off on the radiator and also those hoses there too but the front of the uh, compressor is leaking right where the clutch goes in well guys it's pretty simple you just uh, aim at it and uh, wherever it glows that's where it's leaking at a uh, very very easy way to find a leak on an AC system thank you guys so much for watching please read the entire description of this video down below before you attempt this or use any of this knowledge uh, if you're watching this video on a platform other than youtube.com you may need to go to youtube.com find my channel barbers auto help find this video on my channel watch it there and then you'll be able to access the description below the video there good luck to you guys thanks for watching